Prokop said that he's just beside himself, just just dying to get into that fight to replace uh, Shane Carwin. I'm not sure I want to see that, man. No, I, I like Prokop. I don't know. Him against uh, Burger King? I, I don't know, man. It's not something I want to see. I don't think Rokop's as good as he used to be. Obviously, he's not as good as he used to be. You know, I think taking him out of the ring screwed him up. Putting him in a cage, I think, screwed him up. But uh, I don't know if you guys really compare the ring to the cage. You know, we talked about that in a couple shows a couple shows ago on the Blog Talk, you know. One thing I love about Blog Talk is you can talk about something at length and go over everything on it. Here, I can't do that. So, I mean, if you know, something you guys want to go over on, you know, in length and detail, you can do it on Blog, you know, you can do it with us on Blog Talk. So, that's why I like doing it. But, um... If you compare the ring to the cage, man, there's a lot of difference. You know what I mean? You you can't hold someone against the, the, the ring ropes. You can, but you can't, like, not like you can in the cage. So, I mean, there's a lot of advantages you have in the cage, you know, disadvantages than you do in the ring, you know, vice versa. You know what I mean? There's a lot of difference between the ring and the cage. It's something to, something to think about. <laughs> Strike Force has been talking about possibly maybe putting on a, uh, it's not set in stone yet, but they've been talking about it. Talking about putting together a heavyweight, like a bracket style tournament. I thought that was a fucking badass idea, man. Um, I don't know if it's for a belt or or what it's about. I, I'm just like a you know it's a Grand Prix style style deal, you know where you got a whole bracket of fights and you come back the next night, you know, in a whole whole other uh, thing of fights. But um, I love that idea, man. I think if Strike Force could put on something like that, I think they'll really start bringing in a lot more fans because I just think a lot of things with Strike Force, man, they've really been I don't know, man. Maybe they're coming around. I don't know, man. It just seems like a lot of decisions that are made. There's there's some great fights that can be putting on, you know. Shane Del Rosario, you know, taking on, you know, Daniel Cormier, for, for, for example. You know what I mean? you got two big guys, undefeated guys, you know. See who's going to come out undefeated. You know what I mean? That's, that's a hell of a fight to put on. Are they really well known? No, they're not. Put it, you know, put that in with, a, um, you know, a, a bigger card. You know what I mean? It just seems like there's a lot of really good fights they're holding back on. That's my point. You know, they're really holding back on putting on some good fights. And if they put on a tournament like this, it's only going to be in their favor, in my opinion. You know what I mean? You guys let me know. Let me know what you think, you know. Comment on that. You, you, you like the idea of a Strike Force kind of Grand Prix, or, yeah, you can take it or leave it. Suck. I mean, what do you think? I think it's a great idea. It's going to get Strike Force probably a little more on the map where they're at now. Um, obviously, in my opinion, you know, Strike Force is not. You know, I don't want to compare fighters. You know what I mean? I'm not comparing fighters or anything. I just I think as a show and, and just the way they're going about doing things, UFC is miles ahead of Strike Force. But Strike Force is coming along. Hopefully, we can see some stuff like that. You know, something that's, something that's going to set them aside, set them apart from the rest of the guys. You know what I mean? Um, or at least set them apart from the UFC. You know, because UFC, I don't see UFC ever putting on some kind of a tournament like that. I mean, unless, unless they really start going downhill and they feel it's necessary. I don't see it putting that on. They don't need to right now. Right now they're, you know, top of the food chain. Top of the fight chain. <laughs>